Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary from Helsinki, Finland. And before we get into this video's topic, the Photokina 2018, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you won't miss any videos in the future. As you already probably know, Olympus did not release any new products in this year's Photokina. And Olympus made a very clear statement that they are going to continue developing the Micro Four Thirds worlds, so they are not going full frame as of the knowledge they gave us at the play Perspective Playground opening. Perspective Playground was a nice place to make some images. They had a lot of different art installations there. You could borrow a Olympus camera and make images and have some fun while photographing. And then after the event you could just leave the camera there and get the memory card with you. So you have all the images from Perspective Playground. And the most popular place that I saw was most likely the Livecom place because Livecom is quite a unique feature in Olympus cameras. There was also a little spot where you could use the Profoto flashes which are compatible with ETTL with Olympus cameras. And on Tuesday when they opened the Perspective Playground there was also a new Olympus visionary announced, a Finnish photojournalist Meri Koutaniemi. You should check her website and see her magnificent images. And I also met another Finnish visionary, Jari Peltomäki, and I made an interview with him and I will post that video on Tuesday. And I think the biggest news in this year's Photokina was the alliance with Leica, Panasonic and Sigma. They have the new L mount and also the Panasonic introduced a full frame camera. It was only a mock-up and it will be launched in next spring sometime. And before we get into what Micro Four Third offered for photographers, let's check out some other stuff. Even though Panasonic launched their new full-frame camera, they still had something to offer for Micro Four Thirds photographers. They are developing a 10 to 25 mm f1.7 lens and it's actually quite huge for a Micro Four Thirds lens. As you can see, the filter mount is 77 mm wide. Another very interesting lens company for Micro Four Thirds user is Venus Optics. They have a brand called Laova and they had a very interesting lens, 4 mm focal length and the angle of view of this lens is 210 mm. This is shot with that lens. You can see my fingers, you can see the microphone on top of my camera. So the angle is very very wide. This could be very good in doing some panorama shots. And other lenses they had was a 12 mm and a 17 mm and they also have this very weird macro lens. Sigma had some interesting lenses for Micro Four Thirds users. They introduced a new 56 mm f1.4 lens. It's a very interesting focal length for portraits. And then there was this company called Reflect that I've never heard before and they are actually making a modular analog camera and they also have some lenses that can be of course attached to Micro Four Thirds and this picture was taken with one of their lenses that they had. And here's some video with the same lens. As you can see the quality is quite nice, it, it has a very unique look. Of course it's not pin sharp, but there is some kind of an interesting look in these pictures. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember next Tuesday I will have a video where I interview Jari Peltomäki, a Finnish bird photographer and Olympus visionary. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs>